Hi, I'm Craig from CNET Australia, and I'm here with Min, who's CEO of Razer, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, gaming peripheral company in the world. Min, Razer started quite small and is now absolutely huge. How do you keep such an enthusiastic base of followers through such a dramatic change? Wow, well, I don't think we're that huge yet, <laughs> but um, essentially, I think our design philosophy has remained the same. We focus on giving the unfair advantage, what we call the unfair advantage to gamers, and we focus on making phenomenal product all the time. So that's what we do. Great. Now, you've seen a lot of competitors and perhaps partners disappear through time and Razer stayed on. You had one particular joint project with Microsoft, a mouse called the Habu. Uh, they have since resurrected their Sidewinder range and then buried it again. Uh, and with Windows 8 and games for Windows Live, do you think Microsoft is doing all it can to promote PC gaming? Well, I think um, PC gaming is bigger than Microsoft even. If you think about it, there are 300 million of us worldwide. Um, it's up to us, I think, to kind of continue pushing that, you know, with uh, partners, guys like Valve, etc., making some really great games. Um, and all the games out there with, uh, you know, hundreds of millions of us, it's kind of hard to talk about bearing PC gaming at this point of time. So uh, one of the things that's keeping things alive, obviously, is experimentation and, and daring to be different. Razer has the Hydra and of course the Blade, which is coming up very shortly. Uh, how do you keep employees excited and with a sense of adventure and freedom to innovate to create these very different products? Well, we, we kind of focus on right from the get-go just to hire you know, the, the very best. You know, for gamers, by gamers, that's something we believe in. So we focus on getting the top uh, engineers or the top designers who are all passionate about gaming. So from the get-go till you know, we design a product to we launch a product, Everyone's pretty passionate about it, um, and we keep that passion by playing games. Well, you're here to announce the Razer Blade for Australia. Tell us what makes this laptop so cool. Well, in a single line, we're calling it the world's first true gaming laptop. Now, that's a bit of a ballsy statement, of course, because there are gaming laptops out there. But we've really focused on the fact that it's the first true gaming laptop, in the sense it's not two inches thick, um, well, five centimeters thick, or, or five to seven kilos. Um, it's pretty much three things, extreme performance, um, truly portable, and uh, it's got an all new user interface. So it's extreme performance, it's running the same level of performance as all these traditional gaming laptops. It's got a quad core um, Intel chip, it's got a GTX 660 card, uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Um, so that's extreme performance, running you know, Battlefield 3 at high ultra settings. Um, what about uh, true portability? It's about two centimeters thin, uh, and it's, uh, it weighs about 2.8 kilos. So it's half as thick as the traditional gaming laptops and half uh, the weight of these traditional gaming laptops too. All new user interface, uh, some of you guys have seen it already. It's called the Switchblade user interface. It's got 10 dynamic adaptive tactile keys on the side and this um, cell phone quality screen, four inch uh, screen for all the uh, game apps and uh, stuff like that we've uh, packed with the uh, Raze Blade. I understand that the uh, power adapter is just a little bit smaller than it used to be as well. Uh, just a little bit smaller if you call a, a third smaller and a third of the weight. Yeah, the traditional um, gaming laptops tend to have these huge, massive 120 watt, uh, 150 watt uh, power adapters. We've shrunk ours to a third of the size and a third of the weight. It's uh, it's incredible. Wonderful. Well, men, thanks for joining us. Now the Razer Blade should be out on November one for I think it's two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars Australian. Have a look at it then. Thank you, Min, for spending time with us. Thank you for your time.